still applicable? Right. Okay. So I was reading this and whoever blasphemizes in the name of the Lord, takes the Lord's name in vain, shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall sur certainly stone him, uh, the stranger as well as the one who is born in the land. He who blasphemizes the name of the Lord shall be put to death. You think that's applicable today? Like somebody says, God damn, you think they should be put to death? Of course not. I, All right, so. well, I'll tell you the truth. I, 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 maybe I shouldn't mention it. There was a Why guy not? who was blasting right when I was downtown the other day. So I walked up to him and gave him a mean look and he shut up. Wow, just a mean look, huh? <laughs> but what, what about the biblical order of putting him to death? No, I said, I didn't want to do you know what to him, you know. You don't want to put him to death? He was an elderly man. So oh, okay, that's, hit him, you know, that's but, good. But somebody else would have hit him. Some yeah. of my Christian friends are hardcore and I have some of them said they're going to sock them in the nose. No. They would never. As Muslims, we never disrespect any of the prophets. We love Jesus, we love Moses, we love. He we never make pictures. Jesus, that guy downtown, if you want to know the Really? So I'm just saying, I, was able, I happened to be in a good mood that day, so I was able to hold my temper. Oh man, I'm glad you did. That would yeah, be pretty. Somebody else probably would have socked them, because I've seen that mm -hmm. on Wall Street when I did it, and someone came over and gave, 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 gave a sock right in the nose. So, but do you believe in the punishments that are here in the Bible? I'm just trying to understand this. Well, like, for example, here, if a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed a domination, they shall surely be put to death. I, I personally wouldn't put them to death. You know? It's in the Bible. I, well, I, well, I just, but that's, you know. Um, but so, you believe in it or not? You have to be the standard in the Bible. Uh, do, do, do you change the Bible as you wish then? Because I mean, it's there in the Bible. I mean, so God didn't know about this time that was going to come? I say that people are supposed to be more civilized today than they were in those So God was not civilized when He gave these orders? I mean, man, man sleeping with man is pretty much the same as it was back then. I don't think it's changed much. I don't know the mechanics of it, but I believe it still works the same way, right? But I, I, I never heard anyone put it, but I have heard cases where, where two gays married and the families just disowned them. But well, that's not in the Bible. The Bible says put them to death, right? In some countries, they still do that. So do you believe in that as a Christian? I wouldn't, though? I wouldn't do it. No. What about marrying a divorced woman? Can you marry a divorced woman? I, I have some relatives that are married to people, but they're not religious. They but do you believe in that yes, as a well-versed, church-going Christian? Because I, 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 I'm reading the New Testament. Yes. This is in Matthew chapter 5, verse 32. And whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery. So the Bible is not really applicable anymore? No, I, just, I, just, I feel you, yeah. I, I just say it doesn't stand today with most so, people. I got an Some idea. I still believe in it. Yeah. But those are the old ways of the old school. See, there's a, I tell you the truth. So, so but it, this Bible you're saying with these laws doesn't really work in today's time? Not really. Actually, what, am I, what I sense, and this is what I've heard on Christian programs, of course, mm. there's a new type of Christianity today. A new type? Not that's the Jesus one? No, no, I just say that that's new. What's it called? That shows kindness and love. So God in the Bible doesn't show kindness and love? In, uh, in some cases it does. No, God doesn't? It shows more kindness Ooh. and love than what the old ones show. Ooh, that's a hard... So, so you're saying the new Christians show more kindness and love than the God of the Bible? No, I just say than the old one. Than the old Christians or the old Bible? I'm talking about Bible, I'm talking about Christians. I'm talking about the book that, you know, you, you've studied and I, I, we I, get... I, I just say, um, what we believe in winning people to the Lord is, is love and kindness. It's number one. We all believe in love and kindness, but I'm saying is the scripture that you base your belief off is telling us one thing, but you don't seem comfortable with it in our day or time, right? I, I wouldn't do these things. You wouldn't do the biblical orders in today's... Put somebody to death just do something like that. Yeah, so you don't believe in that anymore, right? I mean, it's kind of... I believe that's their personal business. It's uh, my business. So God's commandment do. doesn't really apply anymore, that's right? Well, let's face so, it. so I got an idea for you. I, I got well, a concept. Let's face it, people are going to do whatever they want today. Right. Am I alone? Can I convince them? Hey, they, but, but do you believe in the Bible's laws being applicable today or not? That's the question. Well, some Even them, the New Testament. Some yes, some no. Some of them kind of got outdated. God didn't some know. Them got, that kind of, that kind of outdated. They got outdated. Not all of them. I got an idea, well, and I got, a, I got, a, I want to present. I have a book here, the Quran, yeah. that'll never get outdated. Yeah. Every word of it, every order of it, I believe, is applicable till the Day of Judgment. How about reading that? No, because I have people that are in the Lord that were once drug addicts. They were, they yeah, were yeah, yeah. yeah, I know people that were... Saved and on their different sure, I know people that were drug addicts that became Muslims. I know people that were drug addicts that became I'm Hindus. Saying, so you can't hold yeah. them again. In 
fact, I support a ministry called, um, you know, um, called um, Ch um, Cheetah. It's on TV. Cheetah? Uh, no, what, what is it? Uh, I like the Cougar type of ministry? It's, it's on Saturday night there. Um, it's called Cheetah? Something like that. Do they like pounce on people? No. It's right. a ministry where they take, Cheaters. they take these guys out of prison who were, who were murderers. Come on, Victory Outreach? Something like, something uh -huh. similar to that. I, I, I understand what you're saying. And guys was, in fact, one guy was on death row. He was supposed to go to the death right, to I, the chair. I, I, the last minute, he got a reprieve from God. And in fact, so there are Muslims who do the same type of work. They're Christians. They're Jews. People, they are saved, atheists. That is still on, we have people that are still on death row that got saved. Gotcha. They're due to die in the next couple of weeks and all that. Well, I hope Allah guides them to Islam. But the question no. is, this text, as you are saying, is outdated. So I have a text here that's not outdated. So would you like to read that? Not right now. I, I, I can't read it right now. All right. Let me know when you're ready. I just say, not every, I guess a lot of people turn you down for that. No, no. A lot of people take it up. Yeah. But, but that's okay. We're not trying to push it on anybody. I, I, I know it myself too. Because uh -huh. I have to be assistant. You guys are Yeah. Oh. Nice. You know, man. That's it. So like I was telling you, I'm going to start teaching a lot of these yeah. people. So, mm -hmm. so that's the reason why we have a new way of winning people to the Lord. A lot of these old people frighten young people away. So the Bible frightens yeah. old young people. Some of, some of the things in the Bible. Some of the Bible things are frightening to young people. We compete with college intellectuals, but we just bring the Quran, all of it, without any, without any shine. We, we believe the whole Quran is applicable. It's not outdated. It won't scare anybody. This will be applicable till the day of judgment. So I, you may I, want to take one and read it. Because I, I, I was going to tell you, I remember a long time ago we had a debate. I wasn't in it personally, but I was just listening. The guy said um, the slave masters used to believe in the Bible too. The they did? They used to own slaves, so how do you have to say for that? Okay. I didn't know what to say, but I, this was 10 years ago. I wasn't involved in that thing. I was just listening. But I didn't know what to say. Well, the Bible says, if a man beats his male or female servant with a rod so that he dies under his hand, he shall be punished. Notwithstanding, if he remains alive for a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his property. That's probably how the slave masters believed in the Bible.